Hello there, it's Tiago, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to get the cosine and sine of pi over 6, pi over 3, and pi over 4 without using any calculator. First of all, let me define what pi over 6, pi over 3, and what pi over 4 is. Pi is equivalent to 180 degrees, so pi over 6 must be 180 degrees divided by 6, okay? And that is going to give us 30, okay? So pi over 6 is 30 degrees, okay? This is in radians. Now, what is pi over 3? Pi over 3 is going to be 180 divided by 3. And that will give us 60. Okay, so pi over 3 is 60 degrees. How about pi over 4? Well, that is going to be 180 divided by 4, and that will give us, 4 times 4 is 16, so over here we're going to have a 4, and a 2 will go over here, 4 goes into 25 times, so that's 45, okay? So pi over 4 is 45 degrees, all right? And in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to get the cosine and sine of pi over 6, pi over 3, and pi over 4 without using your calculator. Now, to get the cosine and sine of pi over 6 and pi over 3, we need to use an equilateral triangle. With equilateral triangles, each side is made up of the same length. Equilateral triangles also have another property. Each of their angles is 60 degrees. This is going to be very helpful when having to find the values of cosine and sine pi over 6 and pi over 3. So let's begin finding our results by labeling the sides of this equilateral triangle. This side over here is going to be equal to 1. This side is also equal to 1. This over here is going to be equal to half because this length has been cut down the middle. And this over here has to be equal to half, this length over here. A half plus a half is equal to 1. So all sides of this equilateral triangle are equivalent. Now we're going to use Pythagoras' theorem to find the height of this equilateral triangle. A half squared plus the height squared is going to be equal to 1 squared. All right? And this translates into a quarter plus the height squared is equal to 4 over 4, which is equal to 1. If we rearrange this equation, we get the height squared is equal to 4 over 4 minus a quarter. This means that the height squared is going to be equal to 3 over 4. Now, if we take the square root of the other side, what we are left with is the height is equal to root 3 over 2. Okay? So, this side over here, of the equilateral triangle 
which has been split down the middle is equal to root 3 over 2. Now, like I said at the start of the video, each angle inside this equilateral triangle is equal to 60 degrees. This means that this angle over here is going to be equal to pi over 3. Okay? This angle in this corner over here is also equal to pi over 3. Now, this angle over here has been split down the middle. What is pi over 3 divided by 2? It's actually pi over 6, okay? So this angle over here is equal to pi over 6, and this angle over here is also equal to pi over 6. Pi over 6 plus pi over 6 is pi over 3. Now, with all these properties, we can find the cosine and sine of pi over 6 and pi over 3. What we'll be using is so ka toa okay? What we are taught in GCSE mathematics. So, the cosine of pi over 3 is going to be equal to the adjacent side over the hypotenuse. The adjacent side is equal to half, and the hypotenuse is equal to 1. Half divided by 1 is equal to a half, okay? So the cosine of pi over 3 is equal to a half. Now, what is sine pi over 3? That is going to be the opposite side over the hypotenuse. The opposite side is root 3 over 2, and the hypotenuse is equal to 1. That means that sine pi over 3 is equal to root 3 over 2. Now, what is the cosine of pi over 6? It's going to be the adjacent side over the hypotenuse. The adjacent side, in this case, because we are getting the cosine of pi over 6, is root 3 over 2. Okay, so this is going to be root 3 over 2. And the hypotenuse is 1. This means that the cosine of pi over 6 is equal to root 3 over 2. Now, what is sine pi over 6? That is going to be the opposite over hypotenuse. Because we are taking sine pi over 6, the opposite is going to be a half, and the hypotenuse is going to be equal to 1. So, what we have is half over 1, and that is the same as a half. So, sine pi over 6 is a half. With all these values, it's possible to get tan pi over 3 and tan pi over 6. But, I'm going to let you do that on your own. Let's move on to finding cos pi over 4 and also sine pi over 4. To do this, we are going to use a square, and each side of this square will have the length 1, okay? Like this. 
Now each angle inside a square is 90 degrees. Okay? Since this square has been split in two, this angle over here must be 45 degrees and this angle up here must also be 45 degrees. Let's write that down in radians. This angle here is going to be pi over 4 and this angle over here is going to be pi over 4. And obviously this angle over here is 90 degrees which is pi over 2. So we have all these useful properties but we need to find the length of this hypotenuse so that we can get cos pi over 4 and also sine pi over 4. We are going to use Pythagoras' theorem once again to do this. According to Pythagoras' theorem, in this case, 1 squared plus 1 squared is going to be equal to the hypotenuse squared. This implies that the hypotenuse squared is equal to 2. And this will mean that the hypotenuse is equal to root 2. Okay, so let's put root 2 over here. With these properties in place, it's possible to get cos pi over 4 and also sine pi over 4. Cos pi over 4 is going to be equal to the adjacent side over the hypotenuse. In this case, the adjacent side is 1 and the hypotenuse is root 2. This can be translated into 1 over root 2 times 1 which is the same as root 2 over root 2. This will give us root 2 over 2 for the cosine of pi over 4. Now, what is sine pi over 4? Well, that is going to be the opposite, which is 1, over the hypotenuse, which is root 2. Because of these workings over here, we already know what that's going to be. That's going to give us root 2 over 2. This means that sine pi over 4 is equivalent to the cosine of pi over 4. With these values over here, you can get tan pi over 4. And this will give you a simple result, as sine pi over 4 is the same as cos pi over 4. This is going to mean that tan pi over 4 is equal to 1, okay? Because these two are equivalent. I'm not going to write this down because I don't want to make this video too long and I'm sure you can get it on your own. So this was how to get the cosine and sine of pi over 6, pi over 3 and pi over 4 without the use of a calculator. I hope this video has been really really helpful to you. For more mathematics videos like this one, make sure you are subscribed to my YouTube channel. If you'd like extra mathematics proofs, visit mathematics.proofs on Instagram. I update this page almost daily. Thank you very much for watching this video and I'll talk again soon.